Welcome to the next question in our CK mock question series. Your co-worker said that cluster the node is running on older Kubernetes version and it's not even the part of the cluster. Update the Kubernetes on that node to the exact version. Let's see how many nodes we have. Okay, this is the new node which is gonna join this particular clusters. And we have to use this one on the same version which this cluster is already running in the control plane. Let's see that. Kubadium version 128.2. Got it. SSH. Cluster 3, node 2. Okay, we have it. CTL versions hyphen hyphen well, let's see it's 126.0 hyphen hyphen short correct okay it's not the one it's 127 127.4 what about the cubelet 127.4 same thing apt update so when two version that's when just doing these things because this complete environment test and the simulation is completely on ubuntu 1.28.2 that's why let's see how much time it will take to get it to update this server and the server is got updated what we have to do we have to update the kubelet and kubectl to that particular uh, version which is the same as our cluster 3 control plane after that we gonna see what we gonna do apt apt versions show kubelet sorry apt show it will show the versions what we have it 360 so now we are getting this one we gonna download this apt install kubectl to the same version and the kubelet also the same version unable to locate kubelet kubectl cube okay not storm letting kubectl is done kubelet is doing it's reading the database progress is at 11 percent Okay, we have 38 minutes remaining. Let's see if we are able to do so in the time. We have other five questions to do. Okay, now it's done. See, now it's verify. Okay, it's done system ctl restart kubelet system ctl status kubelet because it's not gonna connect it with that our control plane that's why we are getting this error okay so what we have to do that we need to generate a token with the help of kubeadm and we need to use that token to connect to that particular node to our cluster so ssh we can do that kubeadm token create hyphen hyphen friend hyphen join hyphen command Okay, it will create the token and it will give the token in the form of joining command. So what we have to do, and even though you can see this expiry, kubeadm token list. So the token which we have just created, that is the validity of 23 hours for TTLs. We can change that is later on. So exit. copy this and paste it here it's 
it's running the pre-flight checks now it's starting the kubelet kubelet configuration to the file it's been already added now it's done system ctl let's restart the kubelet okay system ctl status of kubelet okay now it's running exit now we would have three nodes okay thank you for watching see you in next video